Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. In this mini guide we're going to be looking at handy techniques for painting canvas. If you're not already familiar with Vallejo's Panzer Aces range, they're a fantastic product for modellers. Originally designed for a Spanish model magazine published by Acción Press, the paints are carefully selected with armour modellers in mind. One of the colours we use a lot from the range is reference 314, canvas. This is a great shade. And we're going to use it to show how you can easily paint fabric or canvas. For this demonstration, we'll be using our Tamiya GMC in 135th scale. It's a great model, well produced and finely detailed. We added a homemade tarpaulin manufactured from Milliput Black, and this is what we'll be painting. First off, because we added some photo etched buckles, we prime with some Vallejo Black to get a uniform base. Set aside to dry thoroughly. Next, take the Panzer Aces canvas paint. Add some drops in your airbrush and start to spray. You can dilute it with a few drops of water if needed. Gently mist the mixture over the top in thin coats. Let more settle on the top, whilst the sides remain slightly darker. Now is where your airbrush really comes into its own. Create a lightened mix. We use another one of our favourites from the Panzer Aces range, Stencil, reference 313. This off-white shade is a really useful lightening tone. Use the new lightened mix and carefully spray along the feature lines. Here we are spraying along the tilt hoops. Gently build up the highlights in thin passes with the airbrush set to low pressure. You can also start to suggest pleats, folds and hollows using the highlight mix. Work in thin lines from the hoops outwards to create the illusion of creases. Don't forget to give the inside a quick blast as well. The next stage involves lightening still further and creating even stronger highlights. Here we are using Vallejo Reference 345, Splinter. It's important to keep everything subtle. It's worth seeing just how matte the Panzer Aces colours are. This basic technique works too with brush painting. Here we've used the same colours on this Chevrolet's canvas components. Again, use progressively lightened mixes to pick out the highlights. When done, you can either seal it all with a gloss varnish ready for heavy washing and weathering, as here on this Dodge WC52, or you can just leave it matte with the real flatness and texture of canvas. Every now and then you find there's a product you can't live without, and we definitely put the Panzer Racer's colours in that category. We find we reach for them time and again, so make sure you add them to your paint collection. Remember, there's more videos on the website, and you can check out our Facebook and Google Plus communities. And don't forget to like your favourite model suppliers as well. Bye.